Hey guys, we're going to do a quick little video over how high your tree stand should be. And each location is going to be different there. And the reason why I say that is I isolate two different things. I isolate the amount of cover that's going to be back of me so I'm not going to get silhouetted. And then also my shooting lanes, especially out there on public ground when I'm going in or even on private ground. You know, if you've got a crazy amount of trees that you'd have to clear out then i would hunt at the level that you can actually shoot through a opening there without having to cut up to cut up a whole bunch of trees and shooting lanes and then the other one is the time of year you know your back cover that way you're not getting silhouetted is so key you know i use a lot of the saddle hunting um and i hunt out of saddle two different two different ways uh, one of which is I've got 20 foot uh, sticks and that's just, you know, 20 foot's just what they had uh, available. So I bought, you know, quite a few of them. And typically I'm up there 16, probably 16, 15, 16, 17 feet in the air there. And, and that's probably my, my waist. Um, and I'll put that platform right in there. So, you know, I may be up there right around 20 feet at times, but again, you know, I've got some of those that I may hunt 20 feet, but I also have some of them that I may only hunt at 15 feet uh, just because of the amount of cover during the time of the year and also, you know, my shooting lanes there. So there's just several things to kind of keep in mind. And, you know, even before your hunt begins, you need to make sure that you've got your wind and your thermals, uh, you know, isolated and understood. And that's with your entry and your exit there. So, you know, each hunting location, whether it's public or private, make sure you're getting in and out of there as clean as you possibly can, and it works out very good. So, you know, I've, I hunt out of the saddles, I hunt out of the tree stands, you know, the Millennium tree stands, I hunt out of those redneck blinds, both on the hay bale blinds to the ones on trailers, and, you know, don't really worry about the necessary height of, of those, because, I mean, I've killed deer, you know, big mature deer, on the ground i've killed them you know on those redneck trailer blinds i've killed them out of the saddle i've killed them out of the tree stands you name it so don't really isolate necessarily the specific height of where your tree stand needs to be but understand the amount of cover you're going to have backing you to keep those deer from silhouetting you as well as your shooting lanes and i think that will really work out well for you guys so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video like always hopefully you guys are getting out there in nature and best luck on your upcoming hunt